All right, my LinkedIn family. It is Sunday, three in the afternoon. Sunrise Sunday is now sunrise has already risen, but uh, I wanted to share with you a special moment. And uh, we'll go live right now. Here we are. I am at the beach. Took a day off, with my family, and uh, we're at Myrtle Beach for a couple of days. Very blessed with the, some friends that gave us access to their home to take a couple of days away. I haven't been really away from my home since COVID struck in. It's been quite a while. So I um, just wanted to share with you a beautiful view. Hopefully the sound of the ocean you can hear as uh, I'm out here doing a match chat live. So back to Lynn and uh, get you a little bit. Here I am. Hey guys, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? So uh, it's quite windy out here. The old beer's blowing in the breeze. And uh, I'm excited to be out here with my family. Look behind me there. My wife's already laid down. I'm uh, under strict orders to not have her on camera while we're out here at the beach. Nothing she wants. Kids run around everywhere. So what are you doing today? Sunrise Sunday here. I'm out at the beach and uh, taking a little bit of a break from, from the regular stuff. I, uh, I did a live broadcast yesterday um, with some incredible people from around the world, and uh, which is now available on replay. Uh, it was on Facebook Live yesterday. It was live on Zoom and um, also have the link for YouTube. So I'll be making an edited post for that this week and sharing with you uh, my segment that I did about uh, five things people with emotional intelligence don't do when handling criticism. I think it was pretty fun. We I mean, had a good time, good Q&A time as well. And I was very blessed to meet some people that were, um, were really incredible folks on the, on the calls yesterday. And some great opportunities that opened up for me as well um, to really be able to share what I do with other folks around the globe. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that too. Um, so also this week coming up, you'll hear more about my, uh, my ALC program. That's the Addicts Life Coaching. Uh, it can be hard when you bring up the word addict or addiction or addicts or addicted to. Uh, especially when you may be in denial, one. Two, you don't really realize you are addicted to some things, but you might be. Or three, you are addicted and you just uh, are afraid to admit it or to trust somebody with the information. I totally get it, I've been there. Um, I used to be a drug addict and alcoholic. And uh, you know, I'm not anymore. I've been delivered. I don't have any problems with drugs anymore. And uh, there's ways to, to see the thing happen in your life. One, if it wasn't for the grace and mercy of God, the things that Jesus has done in my life, I'd be dead already. Uh, but he's delivered me. And I've learned a lot of things over the years about addiction. Um, I'm not perfect. I haven't mastered everything because uh, I'm, quite, I'm quite flawed, but I'm working on that. But I do know how to do some things the right way. And I do have some tools and some weapons for folks that need to apply those things in their life. So throughout this week, uh, I'll be talking more about that. I've been talking about, um, about a, a certain word over the past, past week or so, past couple weeks actually, uh, talking about the feelings when you're really feeling in despair, desperation, and that kind of leaned into where I'm going with, with the addiction program I'd like to do, uh, addiction life coaching. Now, this is not like a 12-step program or anything like that um, at all. Um, you know, those things have their purposes and places for some folks, and for some folks it doesn't. Um, it's not a religious thing. It's not necessarily that I'm trying to get you into some program so that you can become a Christian. I won't lie what Mike did. However, that's not the purpose of what I'm doing. I'm taking the tools, the understanding, the knowledge I've had over the years, a lot of things that I've been able to experience and help you to be able to apply those in your life right now. Whatever it is, addiction's addiction. Doesn't matter what the, what the vice may be, right? There's, there's a lot of problems that we face in our lives. And for some of us, it could be just the simple addiction to social media. It could be the addiction to, um, to trying to be right or the addiction to like FOMO, fear of missing out. There's lots of things that we have addictions to in our lives that, uh, that we may not necessarily consider to be an addiction, but it is. And it could be something way more powerful in your life if you're able to overcome it. So that's some of the things I'd like to share with you in our new ALC program that I'm launching here now. And if you want to be a part of that, uh, you can DM me here at LinkedIn and we'll have a private conversation on that as well. It's not the FLIP program exactly. My FLIP program is an eight-week, eight-step system, uh, which is fantastic as well. And we do deal with addictions in the FLIP. Uh, but this ALC program is a bit more specific 
and leans more into the certain areas of, of addiction that you're battling in your life, all right, and the, and the ways to get through and out of it, right? So if that speaks to your heart, I'd love to speak to you this week. Don't take any time wasting uh, precious moments. Let's get through it, let's get to it, let's get over it, knock it out, all right? So anyway, I just want to take one more time to share with you some beautiful look here. Not me, because that's not as good looking as this. <laughs> it's just so pretty out here today. Hope you can hear the waves. Give me a chance to listen to all that. I'm probably going to come back out here tomorrow morning, share a little bit of time with you as well. All right, gang. I love you so much. I just wanted you to know that uh, that I'm here for you. My name is Matt Crump. I am a published author. I am a certified empowerment life coach. I am a performance coach. I am a consultant, LinkedIn content creator. Got this big burly beard. I love cars. I love people. I definitely love you. So let's talk sometime, all. It's going to be a fantastic, fantastic month ahead. All right, I'd say I'm coming live from Fayetteville, but I'm not. I'm close to it, though. My home's in Fayetteville, but I live in, uh, we're here in Purple Beach right now and having a blast. Love you all. Don't forget, hit me up if you'd like to talk about the ALC program or what it takes to be a part of the flip. God bless you.